Make sure you always say that. That's just that one thing that can slip with me. Yeah. We're getting better. <laughs> I'm not. Yeah, me either, but we're trying. My balls is totally moving, doing it improving, not that we can't let go. I've got the heart and desire, my balls are on fire, ready to take us to the top. Welcome to the show, did you know that you might? What's up with that fan? Keep talking about a fan who never shows up. Talk, talk. It's all, there's no walk. That you, was nice. That, was it? it? It Honestly, that was, it was not, you're a good singer. Yeah. <laughs> I like you. Just yeah. keep keep spinning it. I'll, I'll go for it. Yeah, you got it. Is this, okay, this is good, right? Yeah. yeah you, can yeah. you hear yourself? I can. It's not too loud, is it? Unfortunately, I can. No, it's not too loud. You got to talk more positive about yourself. Okay, you're right, though. No, you already I'm caught me. I'm working on it. You caught my Straight immediate away. thing. You caught Straight my away. Yeah, sh talking myself. You're right. I, yep. Try not to cuss too much either. YouTube doesn't like it. Oh, we're on YouTube. Okay, okay. See that sign? No. It's behind a skate deck now. Okay. Oh, well, no, it the just signs... says, don't say F. Don't say F. Okay. That, well, you get the point. That's even yeah. better because then you won't say the full word. Oh, yeah, okay. It's so unfair because I watched 30 seconds of your podcast and you just let it rip with such reckless abandon in a way that we are totally unallowed. Yeah, well, which is why nothing that I do on YouTube can ever get monetized. All right. You might want to look into that. Well, I mean, you know. Or not. We can't, With the content that I do, it's just like, eh. Yeah, me too. Bye. You know, yeah. gotta say bye to that one. I think we have some similarities. Yeah, we probably do, judging by the way that we both look. Yeah, I saw a thing on, I don't have an education, so everything, Me I, everything I know is from TikTok. Yeah. So it's probably not true. So I gotta say that first before I say anything. Uh -huh. But uh, if you have a lot of tattoos, you're damaged. I mean, I don't even think you need um, TikTok to tell you that. Right. I think you could just tell in but general. I didn't, TikTok makes it official. It does make it official. You're right. Did it you does. see those aliens? No, I did the Miami ones. Yeah. I, no, I, I heard everybody talking about it. I didn't watch Shadow it. people. They're not even aliens. Apparently, they're shadow people. Ain't no freaking way. Ain't no freaking way. Nice. Ain't we no can edit way. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah you did yeah. well. You don't believe it. Um. Okay, you know what? I lied immediately when you said, did you see him? I saw a clip. Yeah, and, scary, right? Well, it didn't look like anything. What are you talking about? There's there three giant shadow people. I didn't see three giants. I saw one thing. And oh, I was no, like, no, you got it? the jank video. Okay, There's another video yeah. of in the mall yeah. where a portal opens. Portal from another dimension. Think about that guy from Blink-182 that said aliens yeah. are from another dimension. They're Tom not DeLong. From, yes, yeah. Tom DeLong. Great guy. But I remember people going, that guy has lost it. Yeah. Now, yeah. after the mall in Miami, has yeah. he lost it? Has he? Yeah. I think Tom DeLong. I never thought I'd be saying this. He's already been fully vindicated. Yeah. Like you can, whether or not he's going to go all the way and prove aliens exist, we can now, with a straight face, say there was a guy. He was a lead singer of one of the most successful bands. He quit to dump tens of millions of dollars into searching for aliens, and I see his angle. And it's and it's either we're all, schizophrenia. We're, we're, we're already there with him. It's either schizophrenia or it's he's real Wait, or it's true. So he, it's one or the other. He paid money to to know. He started some like organization to search mm -hmm. for the truth. Like I think mm -hmm. there's some wreckage from somewhere that like his organization mm -hmm. personally purchased for like three point six million dollars. Oh, he was on Joe Rogan talking about it, wasn't he? I don't know about that, but I I'm, that makes sense. Yeah, something. I saw him talking to Steve all about it. Okay, well, Steve-O's a little, you know, less... Steve-O's a really smart guy. He's a really smart... But he's, you know, Joe Rogan has... It's the lesser, lesser of a caliber of a person to talk to about that stuff. He's a smart guy. Yeah, good point. Yeah, Joe Rogan but, does like aliens. But Joe Rogan is really... I Finding feel like he's the truth. really well-versed or, or spreading <laughs> misinformation. Or spreading... Whichever or, yeah. you want to choose. He does, he does them both he well. He does do both. You're right. But yeah. uh, I saw... 
My only thing was they're very wobbly and the videos are always blurry. See, that's the thing. But then they said that when the portal opened, the lo- the power went out and people's phones didn't work. You're not going for that. Oh, power. come on. I mean, it's like it's like the Bigfoot. Just... It's like Bigfoot stuff. They're like, well, this is a blurry picture. It's like, it's not it's not Bigfoot. It's a bear. The very fact that something always just so happens I, 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 to go wrong right, is right. in and of itself proof that this is, we're all seeing what we what we wish to believe. Yeah. Perhaps not what is it. That, that would be the absolutely. argument you would make. I don't know what I believe. See, I didn't even think you were talking about that one because I, I saw a different alien video today. The shadow one in the clouds? The jellyfish one. What? The Man, infra- they are popping up everywhere. And everybody yeah. is graping everybody, too. <laughs> it's like aliens and uh, celebrity grapers. I got oh, that graping. TikTok. Right. You yeah. got it. Right. Yeah. Mm. Are, there, are the aliens graping? No. No, I said two of them at the same time. Celeb- Hollywood celebrities are. Yeah. And... Aliens are just hanging out in the mall looking for sneakers. Okay, got it. Yeah. 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 One guy, because now there's people saying, bro, I hope somebody doesn't delete this video. But seriously, bro, I was there and I saw him. And then there's like a few other guys. I was there with my niece buying sneakers. And then, bro, I seen him. And I, people say, man, why did you film? And I was like, because I was scared, homie. And I'm like, that is a pretty okay. good argument. Yeah, if a 10 foot shadow man right. came out of the mall, would that be the first thing you would do? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Kind, yeah, of, kind, of a, kind of like five years ago? No. Now, yeah. Immediately. Like, if my I, daughter sets herself on fire, I instinctively reach for my phone. If a, yeah, if a guy was running at me with a knife, I'd be like, no, wait, let me get my phone really quick. I gotta, you gotta do it. Yeah. I'm That's bad the first at that. instinct. See, I'm more of a, I'm gonna save everybody. Mm. So, if, like, if, wow. if it hits the fan, like, I don't like it when somebody punches a person in a train and everybody films it. Yeah. I stop the person from punching the person in the train. So, I'm like, yeah. hey, man, that's not fair. But if it's a 10-foot shadow guy with two other friends, maybe I'll pull out my phone. So you- <laughs> it's, a, it's a fight you can't win. It, I mean, you- I, got a, I got a bad feeling about this one, Michael. Yeah. Yeah. But still. So you're saying you're a hero is what you're saying. I want to be. You I'm want, not yeah. a hero. Okay, yeah. yeah. No, yeah. I want to be. Because like once I've done some stuff where I saved some people, but it was light, How? It was light work. What have you done to save One people? time an old man got blown over in the wind and nobody helped him and I ran across traffic and picked up the old man. And then one time a drunk guy was talking real mean stuff to this lady in a train. I feel like you're lying. I'm not lying. A little old man was blown over in the wind. <laughs> he was really old. <laughs> and it was really windy. And he was walking up the street. And he the wind... made of paper? <laughs> I know. Who he makes just... up this kind of story as their hero origin? He lost his, he lost his footing <laughs> and he went down hard too. Hard. And he wasn't yeah. going to get up. And I helped him up. And, uh, and then I helped him to his, uh, to his apartment, to the... Like we call them commission flats. Uh-huh. What do you call them here? Projects. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And you brought them all the way up to it. Did anybody film it? No. I'm not gonna believe it. <laughs> well, this was before video yeah. phones. I'm old. They've always got an excuse. That sounds pretty didn't happeny. Yeah. It but does. one time a guy was talking real mean to this lady over and over again, and nobody was doing anything. And this would have been a time where if we had phones, everybody would have started filming. But instead, nobody did nothing. And then I saw a tear come out of the lady's eye. And I was like, right, that's it. And I hit him in the head with my skateboard and I, I, I really hurt him. And then everybody said, you should probably get out at the next stop and we'll take care of it. You knock him out? Yeah, oh, yeah. At least. Yeah. Okay, so you are a hero? A little bit. A little bit. And with the singing and being a hero, yeah. is that, do I? Triple threat. Right. Well, Wait, I guess it's only two. a double. Uh, what else? What other heroic? Um, oh, no. What Can other? you dance? Yeah, nah, yeah, I nah. I mean, I'll I'll cut up a rug, but I don't know if you would call it good. That's okay. Yeah, I can dance salsa a little bit. Okay. okay. But my but my salsa coach says it's pretty bad. Do you but, actually have a salsa coach? I feel like yeah. you're just making up lies. No. You have Why do you keep calling me a liar? <laughs> I speak facts. All right. I'll he's, tell you it's a lie. Who lies about saving frail old men and taking salsa dancing lessons? Thank you, Michael. Yeah, is that one to brag about? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. They're like easy lies, you, you know? You just hang out with liars all the time? Like, Because I'm very gullible. Are you gullible? I'm so gullible. I don't think you are because you call everyone a liar for everything how, they say. That's how gullible I am, though, is that I've believed too many lies. So now I'm like, everything's a lie. Uh, I got to learn that. Everything's a lie to me because I'm like this. I've believed it. I've been... What's a word I can say that's not cussing? I have been... Bushwhacked. Done Bush- dirty. There we go. Bushwhacked and done dirty <laughs> too many times. Bushwhacked. Uh, bush- <laughs> Sorry. That no, bushwhacked. We all get the point. We know okay, what, good. Yeah, we know it's going That on. was a bad one. Whacked yeah. in the Look, bush. Here's how gullible yeah. I am. I was in a golf cart in Mexico the other day, 
and they've got a special kind of raccoon in Mexico and it ran across in front of the golf cart and there was a guy at the hotel that was driving the golf cart and I go, ooh, look at that guy. What are they? And he goes, Chukacabra. And I was like, nah. Yeah. And then I was like, wait. Yeah. And then he started laughing and I was like, man, that was a good one. You got me. Yeah, I would have believed that 100%. He laughed and laughed and laughed. Would've... Like he kind of laughed a little too long, quite frankly. I was like, it's funny. Yeah. Okay. It's, Maybe, yep. It's yeah. Okay. Seriously, dude, yeah. you know what? Enjoy your day. I feel like I have, I made that guy's day. Like he went home yeah. and was like, man, white people. So he stupid. starts well, bringing that's... out all his friends and he's yeah. like, could he believe? I had it coming. That's yeah. their drop bears. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I made up drop bears. Here you go. Here's a story that I made she up. A what? Yeah, I did so. You made up the drop bear. Yes. What is a drop bear? No, you did it. I did. I was the first person to bring it here. When it came back around to me, I could not believe it. Someone was like, Do you, so have you seen drop bears? And I was like, you mean koalas that have rabies that fall out of trees and like scratch people's faces and sometimes kill people? And he was like, yeah. And I'm like, I made that up. I made that up to get laid. It, it worked work? too. Oh, yeah. This was back when Mick Dundee first hit the scene in America. And this is when I came to America. Don't so, know who that is. Uh, the crocodile hunter, the one in the movie, not the real one not, that got killed. Not the, the Australian one. He's Australian. Do you oh, know who Paul okay. Hogan is? No. No, that I'll buy. You don't know who Crocodile Dundee is. Oh, Croc Dundee. Yeah, okay, yeah. Mick yeah, Dundee. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Mick Dundee. From Australia. No. G'day. He and Jason That's... are on first name basis, obviously. Yeah, yeah. from yeah. Australia. Mick and Jace grew up together. <laughs> ACDC, Mick Dundee, and Jace yeah. were, you know, we lived on the same block. Cool. Shared, a, bar shared, a, shared, shared a shrimp Barbie. At one point, yeah. yes, Michael, we did share <laughs> one trip on a Barbie. <laughs> we never left our doors open because kangaroos would stampede and trash the house. That's such a wild thing. Is that actually? No, is that true? That, no, I'm lying. No, are you lying? Yeah. See? No, are you lying? Yeah, fully. So, so they don't. Fully lying. But I did it good, didn't I? Yeah, see. But the other ones where I saved the old man and yeah. killed that guy in the train. Don't, that's don't believe true. it. Don't believe it. <laughs> I swear. Don't, don't believe it. I swear. Ask Miles. Hey, Miles, remember when that one guy was being all grapey at the airport? He did. Was I do that? Was I gonna kill that guy? He almost killed a eighty, like he wasn't eighty. He was like sixty-five. Guy out of his mind in the airport. He offered Miles, my dear friend, who's only twenty-four. He's a cute yeah. guy. He was like, "Hey, do you want some candy?" And I was like, "Seriously? No, 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 no." This guy leans over. He's clearly out of his mind, but yes, very creepy. I agree with that. He leans over. He's like, "Do you want candy?" And I'm like, no. And in my mind, I don't think Jason's watching it. But I in, heard my, it. in my mind, I'm like, that was creepy. And then Jason just out loud in the terminal goes, that was creepy as hell. Like, what the? Yeah, and then I mad dogged him. Do you think there was fentanyl in it? No, no. I think that he, I've people have done stuff to me, so yeah. I'm pretty quick to go on that one. Uh, yeah. And he was, he triggered me. Yeah, he triggered By okay. saying, hey, do you want some candy to a young kid? I also think like, you're 24. You're not like seven. <laughs> this was a year ago. Too. <laughs> yeah. And did, did 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 you say that this was in an airport? It like was had, in had, an airport. Had he snuck his van through yeah. TSA? Hey, people have tried to do stuff to me in the airport. Oh, like, really? Wait, like yeah. what? Like one senators? time I was at a in a stall, and I I go to uh, I'm on the on the bowl, and I go to get the toilet paper. And a hand comes out from under the toilet paper and it goes, because I'm a little bit gay. I've done some gay stuff. I'm like pretty flexible. Yeah, nice. So I know those places. Yeah, okay. But they're never at the airport. And this was Las Vegas airport. Okay. And a hand came over and was like, doing that, as in put your wiener in my hand. Yeah. And I was like, what? And like leaned back. And then I you know, had to finish. And then when I got out, he had already run off because I was going to... You had to finish what? what were you Ejaculating. Pooping. Jer jerking oh. off. Yeah. No. Uh. Yeah. What? No. Well, no, but there are... We know this. There are established spots, or at least there were in days of yore in certain uh, airport yeah, bathrooms. Because right, that was how that senator... Remember that was That's that right. Republican guy yeah, who, yeah. who was clearly choosing knowingly went into it, chose to participate in that, and claimed that, no, he just had a wide stance. I like that. When he pooped. I no, like that. that's not how that goes. It's oh, just like, man, oh. if you're going to go down, go down in flames, I guess. I yeah. guess, yeah. It's so weird. How far? Hold on. So he, how far did he? No, he here's the to... thing. No, I didn't you. realize it, but the to there was like three toilet rolls and there was more that went down, but they someone had taken them out and there was a big gap. Like 
this wide all the like up all the way up to the last toilet roll. Okay. So it was his hand was about here. So he's close to you. So he's his close hand to your... almost hit my leg. I was okay. I was like, whoa, what is? Oh man, a hand. And then I, and then I saw that and I was like. You got to be joking me. You can do this in the airport. See, the only thing that Wait. surprises me about that is that there's no way that you can make a bathroom in an airport only for that. You can make a bathroom That's in an true. airport. Hey, everybody who goes through here, spread the word. If you're in the third stall in and the one next to the right. Sabaros. It was the one in the corner. But somebody's always going to go in there unawares because it's just an airport bathroom. I'm not surprised that that exists. I'm just surprised that you don't do like three knocks first or something before right. you offer somebody to go number three. Yeah. I was yeah. I was surprised because you have to go through the, the, the check thing to jerk someone off. I'm like, that's a lot. I assume it's guys who I are I would assume like he was flying somewhere, right? Yeah, but still, yeah. I, like, while he you fly... Just, he doesn't just sneak into... <laughs> airports to go do you think that perhaps you are gullible and he was just asking for toilet paper and mm. that's and you think that see what i mean do you think perhaps that's you're so a true. moron see, miles Gabby? that's so true what what if he was just like give me a, i want do you have toilet paper because how did you even because i would not ever i mean if somebody put their hand under my thing and went like this, I wouldn't be like, oh, time to put my... Yeah, but you're a, you're, in you're, their hand. you're a girl <laughs> and girls don't jerk each other off in stalls. Guys do. Guys are really into it. As a guy that's been that's, in the scene... That's true. Men are it's, weird. It is... You guys are sick. It is... It, I've been to a place... They closed it, but there's this theater called Studs. Yeah. And it was like... A, it's got like a bunch of gay stuff on different screens. But if you... If you sit, well, first time I went there, I went there with my ex-wife, and it was super dark. And we sat down in the seats, and as soon as we sat down, somebody kneeled in front of me to blow me, and I was like, "Really?" And then I looked at my ex-wife, and a guy put his wiener on her shoulder because she was dressed like a man. She had like to because we thought it'd be funny. Yeah. And we both started laughing at the wiener on her shoulder yeah. and she's like no thank you is it a hard wiener or just like a soft no wiener? it was like just flopped on just like pink <sighs> yeah and i was like what if i don't want to and then i've been in there before where i wanted to yeah and when somebody was doing something somebody without asking tried to lick my back so to speak okay and i was like what like <laughs> how did how do you know? First of all, no. Uh -huh. And then I moved to another part. Well, what did you think going into a, uh, well, I get, a if jerk I get, off theater? If you go you to steam was... rooms, gay steam, room, steam rooms and stuff, there's eye contact. It's yeah. like, what's yeah. up? And I go, yeah, you can. Yeah. Okay. If you go, if I'm looking over here and you grab it, I'm going to, I'm going to snap on you. Okay. Because I don't care well, how gay it is here. Yeah. You need to, for me to say you, you can before set. you do that. Right. I'm not a whore. Yeah. I mean, I am, but. But not a for, full for blown... the right people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What if you're hideous? Yeah, you don't want to be taken advantage. Sorry. Of. What if you're not my type? Yeah. So okay. So yeah. Because yeah. I've I'm, I could be into hideous. <laughs> it's it's either hideous. <laughs> Anybody that's into, not your type is hideous. I've been into like hideous <laughs> type. Yeah. 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 Just yeah, for yeah. like certain reasons. Okay. Like like what? I don't know. Like if like I don't man. Uh oh. Yeah, it's not. We'll do it on Patreon. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Save, save it for the paywall. In general, I would argue that people might expect different rules of engagement in studs than they would at LAX. You know what I mean? I would agree yeah. with that. Not, not to say that by going through the door of any place in the world, you can send to anything and everything, but like what goes in this steam room might not be what goes at studs, might not be what goes at to the, the Southwest Terminal. Yeah, but I think when you, when you know that bathroom is for that and yeah. you're a regular there... I think that there is, this is one of the things that made me not gay anymore. The amount of forwardness without any consent is a real turnoff for me. Uh -huh. Like if you're just like, you, people say nice things to me on Instagram. Like, hey man, I really ex you know, respect you for coming out. It, it's, you know, I, uh, you're, you've, you've helped so many people. And I'm like, oh, thank you. And then a photo of their butthole. Yeah. And I'm like, welcome to being a woman. I'm like, what? <laughs> the this is every day. This is every other DM I and get. And it's gross too. It's never like a nice butthole. It's like a, whoa, why would you even, that's the last photo I would show of any part of me if that's what it looked like. Like pimple butts? Just hairy and crooked or like Not three crooked. different colored penises. Yeah. It's all bent and broken. I'm like, ah, oh, or like short and stuff. Just yeah. like, nah. This not is, If it's not good. This is what it's like. I don't know. Gabby, you get many butthole photos? I'm not getting a lot of butthole photos. It's more oh. penis ones, right? More, I would say more penis ones, yeah. But not 
not like they're like, hey, I think you're really funny, and you go, oh, thanks, and then penis. Yeah, that does happen. <laughs> so or I don't even say, or I don't open them, and they say, hey, I think you're really funny, and then the next thing without me responding is a blurred image, and then I click on the image, and of course it's, you know. No, you weren't being flirtatious. Just no, go. Mo no. Most of the things that you get are not even opened messages. People just keep here is throwing here it them is. at you. Yeah. Yeah. First thing in the door is here's me wiener yeah here's me wiener yeah yeah i don't get and it and i say no thank you i don't i don't even but in my head i go no thank you yeah my, i don't i've just because i don't res somebody watch me say stuff to somebody where i was like i can't do that sorry and someone said don't say sorry yeah like don't like don't be apologize i like that you're apologetic because i just because nice. so, i i have an only fan i'm stopping it yeah but i had an only fans and I'm like, if you want to see stuff, go there. Uh -huh. And they're like, well, would you suck me off? And I'm like, no. Like, as I said, I, I only fans, if you want to talk, go there. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Yeah. And my manager read it once and she's like, why are you saying sorry? And I was like, I don't know. I just. Yeah, you can't. I don't, yeah. You can't say sorry. You got They like it when you kind of. Yeah. Because then, bully it, them. then it comes. Then there's another question. And then there's the, then there's a photo of their. Yeah. Penis that's not, that's ashy. See, it's why I could never do, it's also why I, I could never do OnlyFans um, is because I think that guys like, uh, the, a certain type of guys, especially the ones that are subscribing to OnlyFans, like to be talked down to. And I'm very like, oh, no, thank you. Um, I'm like very Me shy too. and polite. And it's like, they don't like that. They want you to degrade them. Right. Yeah, because I do have a lot of friends that have OnlyFans where they have a thing where they go on... Is it Chatterbait? Yes. And they just tell people how gross their penis is. Don't miss a beat, huh? <laughs> it's a thing. Yeah. But that's the, they get paid a lot of money to say, ew, no, absolutely not. Yeah. If that's I was it. a smart businesswoman, I would do this, but I'm not. So I don't do this. Right. Yeah. Well, there's a price. There is a price. And I, I'm, I paid it. Yeah. I no, I no longer. I regret it. Do you really? I mean, hopefully I can turn it into material. Yeah, you can. And then when I'm far enough out of it, so it's not like, you know, yesterday I yeah. took someone off. It's more, I mean, I did this one thing a yeah. long time ago. Then it's kind of like alcoholism. You know what I mean? I can talk about how I've done heroin and stuff mm -hmm. because it was so long ago and mm -hmm. I would never do that again. But if I did heroin yesterday and I was like, man. It'd just be I, so sad. Yeah, and, yeah. It's not really that. Yeah. So I need a little bit more time, but I... Just based off people's people's jokes and stuff, I lived a life where if I could be funny, like a Mark Maron kind of guy about my life, I got material. Yeah. So hopefully that comes into play later when I figure out how to be more funny. Yeah. I mean, that's that's it. That's the, you got to just have good stories, really. Did you get your face tattooed today? No. Oh. No, 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 no. This is a couple, this was like a year ago. Okay. Yeah. You don't regret it, do you? Well, a little bit. Yeah. Uh. A little bit. I look at my face. I look at, the, I go, I like the butterfly. They're, they're cute. They're fine. It's just, you know, but I look I'm at myself, it, so I go, I don't. It doesn't really help, I just realized. You know, and yeah. the guys that I like have this, this too, but I'm like, do I need to have, does this need to be on? Eh? It doesn't look bad. It doesn't look bad, but there are. Michael, you don't, you're not a tattoo guy. Do you think your butterflies are cute? Michael, say the truth. God damn it. <laughs> if you put it that way. No, of course, they look beautiful. <laughs> The thing about it's so You would have been hot, but you're hitting. <laughs> yeah. Your face is great, except for the. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, I was looking at it the other day and I was like, did I really need to? I didn't need to do I didn't need to do all. I just, you look and you go, hey. Do I regret it? No, but do I? I'm, you know, one day am I going to want to be like a wholesome looking woman? Probably. Are you? Uh, you're, you're expecting that? Uh, maybe. I don't mean that in a good or a bad way, but why do, why do you think that that's a likely outcome for you? Uh, because everything in my life has been pretty impulsive. And, you know, I go through a lot of phases where I'm like, this is going to be the thing forever. And then a couple months later, I'm like, wow, I'm so glad that that was just a phase. That's one well, of the downsides of tattoos. I is. can help. I'm, I'm way older than you, and I'm in the middle of transforming myself into being wholesome. Yeah. I, like the more I'm just recently sober and stuff, and yeah. I'm like, wait. I don't want to do that anymore. Yeah. Man, why did I do that? Why did, yeah. Wow, why did I do that? Yeah. And then I'm like, man, look at you. Yeah. And I'm like, well, yeah. it's still handy. Yeah. You know, like if people are being mean to people, I usually can be like, hey, man. And I'm pretty good at uh, that. Yeah. Like people go, oh, 
shit. Okay, well then, yeah. that'll... The head tattoo guy is... Yeah, you, you could think be I'm like, crazy. Yeah. You could be like this generation's Mr. T. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, he, so he, yeah. he was always positive. He was just a bad guy in a movie. Yeah. Right, but right? I think the implication was he'd obviously seen some stuff mm -hmm. and he could handle himself in a tussle if he had to, but mm -hmm. he'd put whatever life he'd led, he'd put that behind him and now he wanted to be a force for good. But, you, yeah. could, you know, a mohawk really meant something in those days and all right. those chains really meant something. Yeah. Right. So I always thought the implication was he'd maybe been like a gangbanger or something like that, but now he was focused <laughs> on the Lord. Yeah. yeah. Was he or was he? <laughs> I guess he would have had to have been to. He had no past. You're telling me that he was a totally wholesome dude from the jump who had a mohawk and a million gold chains and a bunch of big uh, and and a, a feather earring and feather a bunch earrings are awesome. a bunch of big muscles in the 80s. Yeah, I in the 80s. I got one. I he got two. I'm not saying anything about feather earrings. I'm saying what the look that he was advertising right, right. was of a guy who could potentially be menacing. Right, and then. The, but that was sort of the like juxtap Superman doesn't have that, you know. He's like yeah. a very clean cut guy who can work at Wall Street. You know, you go, okay, this is a yeah. There's a yeah. reason why he's so him. he so convincingly was able to play a villain because he looked like he could. He probably if you saw him walking down the street and didn't know who yeah. he was in 1982, you might think he was a villain. And that was the cool thing about him was actually T loved the kids. Yeah, I would like to get the scoop on that. Like, was he a, was he a bad guy ever, or did he just buy a bunch of gold chains and get a mohawk to be? Uh, B. A. Baracus. I love that. I still know that. Mm. Pain. I don't yeah. think I ever thought Mr. T was a gangbanging hustler or tussler, as Tully said. Okay. I, were you laughing because he called him a tussler? Yeah. Because that is pretty funny. <laughs> I didn't catch that, Michael. You called him a tussler. I, I don't he think he said that... he thought he could tussle. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's different. Yeah. He is a okay. Yeah. Tussling. That is different. Yeah. Yeah. Not a tussler, but he can tussle. Yeah. It's less old, yeah. but it's still pretty old. It's, it's kind of, yeah. Yeah. Well, Did so, we say your name? No, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Gabby Lamb. Yeah. Hey, guys. Yeah, it's Gabby Lamb, everybody. Yeah, where am yeah. I looking into this? She's real funny. She's got, well, she, she might have issues. I don't know. She's no. got a lot of tattoos. You know what they say about a lot of tattoos, but she's pretty funny. Isn't you know what's even worse about my tattoos is that I got them in sobriety. None of these were ones that I was like drunk. Like I got I got sober and I was like, you sober? Yeah, I've been like four years sober. Nice. And I was like, you know what? Time to start loading up. I I get that. I'm getting I'm getting my face. I'm getting snake heads on the side of my jaw next week mm -hmm. to finish off this whole thing. Well, you're already so committed. It's like there's no coming back. I would never get laser. Yeah. Never. Not one, because believe it Never. or not, I don't want to go through the pain. Yeah. But also, maybe I would do it if you go one time and then you don't have the tattoo anymore. Mm -hmm. But I'm not going for like two years. Two years. So I have a faded jank on my side of my exactly. neck. Exactly. Like it doesn't even ever come off. It's on it. That's exactly why. Yeah. If you could go in, come out an hour later and they were gone, it's fine. I would do it. Mm -hmm. But Same. I wouldn't do it because I kind of like. The permanent. I like jank it. I like janky tattoos. Yeah, I do too. The only time I ever cover stuff is like girls that I no longer am dating, because the only, and the only reason I get that off is so that somebody else will date me. <laughs> How many of the girls do you have covered up? Four. You made that mistake four times. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah because but never again. Same. Never nah, again. I will oh. do it again. I don't care. Prenup. I don't care. Yeah. Have my money. If I love you that much, have it. Yeah. Like, do I regret that? <laughs> Yeah. A little bit, you know, like, am I, like, a, the richest broke guy I know? Yeah, yeah. but <laughs> still, I, I, I'm I, committed, you yeah. know? Like, I don't like where I love you, let's get married, but first sign this thing because we're probably going to break up. Let's not do it then. Yeah. I'm in. Yeah, we go. In. We go hard. You're a committed kind of guy. You commit to the bit. You commit to the bit. Yeah. 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 And yeah, what and is you, life but a bit, you know, just one exactly. long bit. Exactly. And you can cover it up with something cool mm -hmm. or something crappy i don't really care as long as it's covered yeah you live and you you live you live and you keep yeah. you live and you keep doing the same thing over and over again it's gabby why butterflies <laughs> why butterflies yeah because they taste with their feet because they're and they're freaking adorable <laughs> and he took the words out of my mouth and he took the words <laughs> Wait, out of my we'll mouth. move on um yeah i don't know because they're easy because they're cute and they go with everything no, no reason almost, for any of them you almost said because they're easy <laughs> I did, didn't I say they're easy? Yeah, they're yeah, I get it. they're versatile. Yeah, they're versatile. Not Ooh. like easy sexually. Right. I mean, I don't know anything about, you know, how 
butterflies yeah, are Yeah, I didn't get in that bed. far into it. Just when I heard that they tasted with their feet, I stopped there. Yeah. Because I was like, oh. Do they taste with their feet? Yeah. What about the... I didn't get that from TikTok. So it's true. Good. It goes everything. Because as I said it, I was dreading that you were going to say something about like, well, you know, because they go into the c c caterpillar goes into a cocoon and it comes out. And I was mm. like, oh, God, this is going to be embarrassing. That's the last Good. thing I would have ever said in my life. In fact, that's the I don't plan any of my tattoos. I've never thought about them for more than mm, one second because oh, yeah. of that. Because I'm like, I can't. How embarrassing. It's so much more embarrassing being like, well, this is one. <laughs> The one I did that with, I did that with one, and it's a huge portrait of Frida Kahlo on my back. Who's that? And it's so ugly. Um, she's a Mexican painter, was a Mexican. From, Is she hot? You know, it depends on your taste. <laughs> to do you women. Like, do you like unibrows and mustaches? Yeah. Oh, that lady. Yeah. You, yeah. Know, you know exactly who. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah unibrows and mustaches. Yeah. Amazing. She's like the number one hot lady to only chicks. Wait, do you think she's hot? I, I do. Th I think she's beautiful in her way. She's interesting. Right. Yeah, yeah but she has yeah. like a, she's a thing to her. You know. <laughs> what about that model that has real big eyebrows, like on purpose? You seen her? Yeah. What's her name? I always I'm so bad with names. What's her name? I don't know. I never... Cara Delevingne. Okay. Well. Well done. Cara yeah. Delevingne. Is that who you're thinking? Of? I think like she's. Not I'll take a word anymore. for it. She's different now. Yeah. There's no way you can carry that for the rest of your life. They're insane. It's like you know when you're so hot, you're like, what about if I do do this to my face? And it's like, wow, you're still. Hot. Wait. Is that not nah. who you're thinking of? Nah. Because oh. she's conventionally Yeah, attractive. those are. She those is, are. yeah. Who are you thinking of? Who has got... There's like a model. She might not be that successful, but she, she has eyebrows that are insane. Like, just ch beef chunks on her head. Beef, she's really pretty. Not beef chunks. That was a bad... That was a bad... You're, you're painting a, a picture. I'll they you are, that. You would start... If she came in here right now, you would laugh. Kara? No, this chick. Yeah. That's not real. It is. That's not real. It is. Come on. She's got an um, Instagram where she... Okay, that picture looks better, but I, the other one was like, come on. <laughs> but that's because she fluffed him up. Yeah, it's so bad. You can't... No. Her dad is a Greek dude and her mom is a Greek dude. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? It's growing on me. It's growing... I wouldn't do it. Growing it's on growing her. It's growing on her. Yeah. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I pluck mine so thin, I can't. No, never. No. I used to pluck mine. Did you? Yeah, I got into it. Okay. Too much. Like I see photos of that yeah. era, and I'm like, oh my god. But one time, because I was a pro skateboarder, one pro skateboarder was like, "Hey man, do you pluck your eyebrows?" I was like, "No." <laughs> Just like when someone asked me if I slept with a trans girl when I was a pro skateboarder, I'd be like, "No." No. Did way. you? <laughs> but yeah, I did. Wait, do you you still skate? Don't you? Yeah. Yeah. I got into it again. I took a big break. Like 20 years almost. Why did you do that? I moved to LA to be a radio host. Got it. And I just, I'm a ramp skater and there's, there was no ramp. Okay. So. I just got out of a relationship with a pro skater. You did? Yeah. I don't, do you want to say his name? I won't say his name, but he's great. He's amazing. Okay. But you yeah. still like him? Yeah, I love him. Good. He's, he's a great guy. He's Good. a great guy. But yeah, he was, he fucking. He you got to watch him. He rips. He rips. Yeah. He still rips. He still rips. Yeah. Is he old or is he? He's 30. So he's not old. No, yeah, he's yeah. he's ripping. He's, he's ripping. still pro. No, he's not. Uh, he's not anymore. But he still is like in the world. Yeah, like when he's still as, in that world. When you get as good as we do, you get to stay. Yeah, he has he has respect from the whole community. Yeah, I'm sure. That's how I, I'm sure you know his name. He he knows your name. Well, then I probably know his. Yeah, he's a street guy though, right? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 He's, he's yeah I got a pretty shredder. Good, I got a pretty good idea. Really? Yeah. Yes. Nah. No. <laughs> but maybe who did yeah. you skate for what were his sponsors i wish i could even tell you i don't Good remember you. yeah you. i don't remember if you had a real off these sponsors i'd be like man easy i don't <laughs> i don't know I yeah. Don't yeah truly caring about your partner's career is creepy <laughs> right like you care in a general yeah. sense like i see my wife i really want to know how yeah. was your day oh man that sucks but like to actually like identify in any small way with their stuff is, yeah ugh. Yeah, I, so, so I also don't know the skateboarding world, so it's like you would say these things, and I was like, "Cool," but it didn't stick because I don't know it. Right on. You yeah, know? you gotta. That's if, been my job for like twenty years. If you want to yeah. say it, we can bleep it. Um, can you bleep it? Yeah, yeah you can uh, cover your mouth with your hand, and I'll bleep it. No, your, your, mouth, your, mouth. your mouth. Oh my yeah. god! So they can't read your mouth. <laughs> 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 oh, I know. I know.
I don't know. You know, he's really hot. He's like the hottest guy in the world. He's so hot. It's so annoying. I'm like, why is he so fucking hot? It's hard to get over people when they're fucking hot. I keep cussing yeah. when they're so hot. He, he brings it out of you. He does. Yeah. Yeah. yeah he, wow, he must be really hot. He's you really said, hot. He's, you said the F word three times. Yeah, I did. And yeah. you'd been doing an a better job. I profiled. I thought you were going to be one of the worst at self-censoring. You've yeah, been real no, good at it until you brought up. Until, <laughs> until I brought up. <laughs> A, a hot pro skater, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and I get all riled up, and I'm like, I can't, you know, I start losing yeah, my mind. Worst. Right. Picture him shirtless going down a rail. <laughs> so I'm going to start saying the F word again. They usually do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. It's like one of their favorite things. <laughs> it's pouring them Shirtless off rail grinds are like, when, hot, when skaters are hot, it's like one of the first things they do. Take their shirts off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And go down a rail. Yeah. 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 It's like super yeah. punk. Yeah. It is punk. Abs and rails. Yeah. It's like a double whammy. You were on a jet yesterday. I was. I was on a jet yesterday and Friday. See, I always wanted to know, because I, I watched this, when I first started comedy, I was watching some movie where some Seth Rogen and and Adam Sandler and it's like, you know, they got nothing and then they get to go on a jet with Adam Sandler and then they go back to doing stuff. And then I started doing comedy and a lot of people that I was doing comedy with were like, I'm sleeping in my car. And then all of a sudden they're like on tour with somebody famous and they're, you know, on a big stage stadiums and stuff. And mm -hmm. then they go back to nobody cares. It was always yeah very intriguing to me because, you know, I'm a pro skateboarder. Like I've done some stuff. You never, you never jump and then jump back. Like it's, it's, you know, if you're lucky, you keep going. Uh -huh. Some people plateau, but you never go. I, and I don't really know what I'm doing. Boom! I mean, on the Tony Hawk tour, and then right. boom, back down to, you know, I'm at the clubhouse again. Not the clubhouse. <laughs> it's, it's dark. Where? Yeah, I know. It's a dark. That's a dark place. Yeah. Um. Yeah. It was. I don't know how I'll ever get on a regular flight again after. I was like, you really just ruined my life with that one. <laughs> that's that's funny because I I have been on some jets because I'm friends with Tony Hawk and we've done some tours before where we're on a jet and it was like you can keep your phone on and you can have candy. And... How nice is that? Right? Yeah, it's the, like, does the, that yeah. mean they were lying on the normal flights? Because it doesn't make the plane crash. That's true. Liars. But also, why does it work? Because I've tried to use my Wi-Fi on regular flights. It doesn't work. If you, it does if you... It doesn't work very good. Yeah. Even okay. when you buy like the premium yeah, bologna okay. sandwich, it's still jank. Not the premium bologna sandwich. Yeah, I got, I got to try it because I'm like, wait, can I be on Instagram while I'm up here? Oh, you got, God, in the jet? You're on Instagram the whole time. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Easy. But yeah, going back. It's kind of like the first time I ever went first class. How do you go back? It's and like, then I went back to economy. Yeah. I was like, oh, it ruined this flight. Ruins. Like I would usually be like yeah here we go yeah but instead of my like, man this seat sucks yeah you know, this so is small. this is some pretty bad service yeah i know how could i got back to my apartment and i said peasant yeah and now I'm, I'm back into peasant world so it did it, it is kind of a bit of a slap in the face but at the same time did it not make you think keep going gabby you could be in this for life I mean, it does, but it, I'm like, well, it's going to take a long time for me. Well, hopefully not that long, but I mean, you know, it's going to, I'm not going to go from having $12 in my account to, you know, 18 million. Like this week. This week. Right. But maybe, maybe in a few weeks. But yeah. See, there you yeah. go. Positive. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Cause yeah. that's how people like, uh, yeah. I was talking to Tom Segura and Christina. I did a show with them at the comedy store. Oh, they're taking way jets out of, all over. Way out of my league. And it was thanks to Ryan Sickler. He got me on there. So it was like all these people that are like crazy. Yeah. And my little ass. And I'm nervous. Uh -huh. And I'm backstage. And Christina's been very nice to me. And she's like, you're nervous. I'm like, hell yeah, I'm nervous. And Tom goes, I'm nervous too, man. I'm like, really? He's like, yeah, I'm more nervous for these ones than I am when I do like stadium stuff. And I was like, that's crazy. Where was this? The comedy store. Is it the comedy store? Yeah. And I was like, wow, really? And he's like, yeah, man, it's like different. I don't know how to explain it, but I'm definitely more nervous now than I am when I have my own big shows. And I was like, wow, that's really interesting. And they were like, how long have you been doing it? I think at the time it was like two years or something. They're like, oh, you know, in uh, you know, 15 years from now, maybe 20, you know, you'll be on top of the world. And I was like, 20 years? Are you sure? Like, maybe you guys are off. 
a little bit. Like, because you think like it should be sooner? Yeah, I don't think it's going to be 20 for me. Yeah. 20 is a long, that's a long time. 20 is a long time. We did. I know. I, me too. Like, seriously. I know. Some people get there fast. It does happen. I think Jim Jeffries got there real mm -hmm. fast. Tim Dillon is, he's 13 years in, and he's the one who was, I was on the jet with. So, yeah, I like you, it. You go, okay. Well, he got me years. a show after that show. He saw my set and then he had me do a set with a show with him at the comedy store. And then he left and I never spoke to him again. Who, Tim? Yeah. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. He's pretty cool. <laughs> I like that guy. Yeah. But he's really good. He's, he's really good. So he's like, really smart. Being around him, I'm like, I can't even, I don't know what to say. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know the same feeling. I'm like, I'm not. You're, uh, uh, uh. Yeah, yeah. I get because I'm older than them, and I'm like, I feel like I'm 12. Yeah. I'm like, uh, thank you, Mr. Dylan. You know, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like nerve wracking. It is nerve wracking. Okay. I also don't know anything about. I don't know anything about politics. I don't know anything about money. I don't know anything about like finance yeah, or overrated. real estate, and those are like his top subjects. So, right, so you can't really talk to him. I mean, I like to listen to him talk because he's so amazing. He's so smart. But yeah. I'm like, I'm like, all I know is I've dated a pro skater. And yeah. then, like, th those are the things that I know. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah, you can talk to me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was going to ask you what was in your conversational wheelhouse, but I guess you just yeah. Yeah. answered. When I would get drunk and then black out, that's, yeah. Can you I relate did. to that? Yes. He did. He's done that. He's right? sober. Yeah. He's a sober guy. Oh, too. okay. Amazing. Yeah. So, yeah. A lot of us are. Yeah. Yeah, I had that with Howard Stern. I was on there like four or five times and then I think on the fourth time we talked afterwards and he was like, "So you you're into photography?" And I just said cuz my one of my wife's at the time gave me a camera uh -huh. and I think I mentioned it in the interview. Mm -hmm. And he goes, "So you're into photography?" I was like, "Nah. Chick just gave me a camera." And he was like, "Oh." And I was like, uh, the, "I think that end. I think that was my in to go Actually, I like blah blah blah, but I, yeah. I don't know. I don't. He was so. going to invite you on safari. <laughs> yeah, he was. The two of you were going to be out there with those hats. Yeah. And I then he said, "Never mind." Yeah. The guy doesn't know what he's doing. Yeah, but I felt the same thing where I was like, "We don't have anything in common." Yeah. Like, I've heard interviews where he's like, "Kelly Slater, like who's that?" And I'm like, "Dude, right? You're you on behalf of us? Yeah, Action Sports. F you, dude. Like yeah. if you, like you." No, uh -huh. like, you know who he is. Uh, I'm not a good surfer, but you better know who that is. Like that's one of the greatest athletes to ever live. Care what baseball? Jerk me off with your baseball. Like Kelly Slater can't be one of the greatest him. athletes. <laughs> Pull yeah. somebody, please. Please somebody. Jerk I don't. Him I'm not. <laughs> I don't. Please. Like six months ago, yeah, but not now. <laughs> it's gross. Oh my god. Wait, are you celibate? Nah. Oh. I'm just not. I am. I'm just super not into it. Okay. Yeah. Good. Like as before I was into everything. Okay. And now I'm just like not into anything. I want to really like somebody and then you can check me off, you know? Okay. Well, like why? healthy stuff. Why celibacy? Um, I just need, I'm just like, I need to take some time. To be, I get very distracted in relationships. I have to focus on my career. And I'm like, yep. as, as soon as somebody walks into my world, I'm like, <gasps> and I drop everything. And now I'm like, I just don't have the time. I just need to like focus on my career. You got to learn how to be by yourself and be happy before you're ready for a relationship. I've never done that before. Me neither. I've never done that before. And I'm this is doing it. First, yeah, I've only hard. just become... <laughs> I'm like, hey, I kind of liked today. Yeah. And I'm by myself. Oh, that's nice that you feel that way. I still hate it. I, every day I wake up, I go, not again. But, you know, <laughs> here we are. How long are you in, though? Se seven months. Okay. Well, it's coming. How long did it take me, Brianna? Wait, to what? To to be okay. I've been miserable in my house for yeah. for at least nine months. Yeah, yeah. And then, like, the last month, I feel like I'm just, like, home by myself. and Turning the corner. I, I'm like, like, today I went to the gym and then I... Because I, now I do have little things that I set up in the house. Mm-hmm where it doesn't involve anybody usually i would have been like i don't want to i just get high and then i watch netflix or something or look on look at instagram but yeah. now it's like i got a little bar thing i figured out that i like smelly stuff i like like incense and and sage and all this other stuff mm -hmm. and i put little rocks in i got because i start, i learned how to do spells witch's spells to cast bad stuff off me i don't care if it's real or not i just like it 
And then I got my little magical rocks that I think are magical. Yeah. And I put them in my bath with me. Yeah. And I got these little bath things, Brianna, because I bought from CVS and they don't they don't explode and evaporate because they're jank. But then Brianna for Christmas got me ones that are like expensive ones and you put it in and immediately it goes, yeah, rainbows yeah, yeah. and colors go everywhere into the bubbles. Like the ones from Lush? Yes, that's where you got it, right? Yep. Yep. Yeah, those are nice. Yeah, they are. Those are nice. So much fun. And then I realized I, I'm spoiling it by putting the thing in before I get in. So I make the bath and yeah. I put like oils and all these other stuffs in there. And then I put the thing in when I'm in so I can watch it all like create itself, create the vibe. So you're really into your self-care right now. Yeah. Self. Uh, I'm going to get Botox. Journey. Wait, are you really? Yeah. Where? Oh, Where on your face? Yeah, my, everywhere. I'm like, freaking dying. Really? Yeah. I love that. Yeah. What? Oh, really? That you're getting Botox? Yeah. Yeah. Because I saw you talk about it. I get so much. I want to get so much. I don't want to move my face. I don't want to move mine. <laughs> Good, you shouldn't. Who wants to move neck? their face? I, it's overrated. It's ugly. Don't I've do it. I've been moving it for years. It's, it can stop. It, stop, you yeah. know? I don't yeah. want to. I don't even want to be able to open my mouth. Barely. I want to be able to like that. That's pretty hot. Yeah, thank can you. Can you do that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's like you got a dead mask on your face. Nice. Nice. Somebody else's <laughs> face on your face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to preserve my Yeah. Head, keep it all nice. Yeah. And like your own ventriloquist nice and dummy. Tight. Yeah. yeah. I'm lifting weights, so I'm gonna get jacked, and then I'm gonna get Botox, so I'm gonna be like better looking and single and self sufficient. Uh -huh. And then I'm gonna find my true love. And then get her name tattooed. Oh yeah. And then you'll break up and you'll have to get it covered. No, I can't again. break up anymore. No, you're done with the breakups. Yeah. I got to do, uh, hell yeah. You know, I, I got to do the right too. thing. I'm a bad guy. I'm a cheater and stuff. Oh, really? Yeah. I've always been a cheater too. So I'm not going to do that anymore. Yeah. Good so for I'm, you. Me yeah, either. I, this last relationship I was in was the only one I've never cheated on. Yeah. Felt good. Felt good. Yeah. 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 Cause that way, if they do, if we do break up, it's not my fault, then they'll be okay with it. Yeah. You know? Well, That's you know, it. there are other things you can do that would be your fault. That's not cheating. No, nah, not if not. No way. I'm super fun to be with. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This guy is. Yeah. Because I'm going to be super. If I don't the new, like the it, Botox guy. Yeah. Okay, you know, I'm yeah. not going to move my face much. You're not going to be tell if I'm in love with you that much. But yeah, that's good. Trust girls me, I do. like that. Girls like not being able to know really what's going on. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to be talking a lot, communicating a lot. If I've got like anything on my mind, I'm not going to hold resentments. Yeah. I'm going to get it out. Yeah. And I'm going to be like, what are you, like, what are you doing? What are you into? Like, I'm always going to be touchy feely and like being like, let's go to things that you want to go to. Not be like, oh, okay, I'll go. I'm not going to do yeah. any of that anymore because I'm not going to go with anybody that says, do you want to go there? And I'm like, not really. Yeah. Because then I, why would I go out with you if I don't really want to go? So the person you're describing before before this person this new and improve, improved version is like probably a partner who like didn't listen didn't ask questions and is probably a all-around selfish kind of guy because it's sounding like you're wanting to not be that so are you were you that a little bit hell yeah yeah hell yeah then I, but then i had to get sober to be like wait a minute am i an asshole yeah because i know you're discovering maybe you're because not. if i'm and it's, i think i'm a nice guy yeah. I think I've got a lot of potential. Yeah. Good. So, so good. Yeah. I'm going to try that. So I feel pretty good about it. I feel good about the future. Good for you. Yeah. I feel good about the future for you too. Hell yeah. Yeah. Gabby, can I ask you about the cheating tendency? <laughs> sure. Cause like, I find it interesting. It's obviously you're not the only woman who's ever done that or does that, who's done that habitually. What, what if I was? Be kind of hot actually, if you're the world's only. The world's only cheater. Yeah. Well, cause like, I, as a, uh, like I've known enough guys, I understand the male intellect and mm -hmm. psyche. Like I understand why guys cheat. Mm -hmm. It doesn't make it right, but I understand it. There are women who cheat, but I feel like they're a little bit less common. Uh -huh. What do you think were the reasons that drove you to behave like that? Because it seems like you kind of knew that you should stop doing it, but mm -hmm. you still found yourself doing it. Well, I mean, I'm an addict through and through. So it's like I would get bored. I would be yeah. like, well, what if there's something better out there? What if, there, you know, it's just selfish, yeah. just selfish thinking of being like, well, what if this isn't what I want? And, what if, and then I would like see somebody that I thought was hot and I'd be in a relationship and I'd be like, oh, but what? like I get high off of like, you sure. know, the thrill of like, oh, but what if I, you yeah. know, snuck around? and like went and sucked this guy off yeah. you know like that was my... which in fairness to you that is fairly hot <laughs> it is unless you're in a relationship with me you know yeah no to every not to the person <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah yeah to everybody but just else, like objectively yes. yeah, that one yeah. guy's bumming but everybody yeah, else yeah. Is everybody yeah. else is bummed yeah. and uh, he's bummed there are other guys i guess are not but ultimately it doesn't feel so good to be that person so uh, this last relationship i was in 
I was very attracted to him. I was like, this is my this is my freaking guy. And I was like, I just had no drive to cheat. It was also the first time I dated somebody where I was like, I don't feel like cheating. Mm. So that was maybe everybody else that I dated before that kind of sucked. It's possible. See, that's a thing. Yeah. Because if you don't like yourself, I'm speaking about me again. Yeah. So I'll take what I can get because I don't think that I can get any better. Yeah. And then I realize when we're in the middle of it all and it's been years and I'm like, I don't really like this person that much. Mm -hmm. And then I'll meet somebody else that has, I have something in common with and I'm like, mm -hmm. wait, man, this would, this would have been better. And then I can, I'm, I don't like go, Hey, I'm like, in, not in people's DMS. Like, Hey, what's up? It's more yeah. of a, it's more of a, I think you're really cute. And I'm like, wow, thank you. And then it's like, we should hang out. And I'm like, ah, uh, I mean, like plutonically, sure. Mm -hmm. And then it's like, you know, let me blow you. And I'm like, no, but okay. And then no, I, I go, oh no, I did it again. Yeah. And then I hate myself. Yeah. And 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 then, the, then I got to run again from hating myself. So then I'll use more. Yeah. And it's just a vicious cycle. It's a tale of, as old as time. I yeah. relate all too well. Yeah, so I think this time it hurt so much that I, I was like, I can't live like this. Yeah, like I, I'll I'll seriously off myself. Yeah, it's, it is pretty. It's horrible. So it's I, horrible. I'm not gonna do that. So I'm gonna be good. Yeah, and if it's not gonna be good, I'm gonna go. Hey, it's not good. I yeah. gotta. I cannot. I gotta go. That's what I've realized too. That if I like next time I get into a relationship, I'm I'm just not gonna do what I've done. If I decide I don't like them anymore or I'm bored or whatever, I'm just I'm not gonna. I'll just break up. Yeah. I think I've also been too afraid to break up with people, so I'll be like, let me just cheat on them. I know. I hate. Breaking. So you just jeopardize it, so they hate. So you, I so ruin. Then, so I yeah. ruin them. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Wow. It's so off. It's such an awful thing to do to somebody. Mm -hmm. It's so painful because I've had it done to me. I've been cheated on a lot, and uh, it's not. It's so bad. Yeah. It's such a bad feeling. Yeah. But then I also have this thing of like, are human beings, are we actually even like monogamous at our core? Like, or is that just kind of like a westernized thing? See, I th I used to think that, but I th I think that there's, like to me, sex is a is another th thing that I can use as as an addiction thing. And That's it's true. Like, it's like, I need to do everybody just like I need to smoke all the weed and do all the mm -hmm. kratom and all the whatever other drug you got. I need to do yeah. more of it. I can't like, well, I'm not going to do one. That makes no sense to me at all. Yeah. Well, sex addiction is more, way more prevalent in men than women. I think for women, it's more like love addiction. Yeah. And men are more, you know, you guys are just like, just love addiction animals. is just as bad. Like that's love terrible. Addiction is dark. Because you're going to. You have your heart broken all the time. All the time, which is which is why I'm like, okay, let me just take some like, let me take like a long time to like, yeah. just be alone. That's be pretty little... smart. I've been just doing the same thing since I was like 13. So I'm like, okay, I've learned. I get it. I get it. I get my pattern. Let's just not do that anymore. Yeah. Can't. And then once you get sober too, you're just like, if you're smart about it and self aware enough, you're like, okay, I see my patterns now. I'm well, that's like, the other thing. Getting sober is like, there's, there's, I don't do drugs or alcohol anymore, and that's it. Mm -hmm. Or there's, I don't do drugs and alcohol anymore, and then I do the work. Yeah. And that's the difference. Because I've tried it to be is. sober many times in my life, but never did I do the work. Yeah. And it, now, yeah. I, I now I like I've said to people, I'm in school for the rest of my life. Yeah. I hated school, like with a passion. Uh -huh. And now I'm in school till the day I die. Mm -hmm. As soon as I stop going to school, I'll, I'll, go, I'll go down that road again. Yeah. I have to study every morning. I write stuff down every night. I have to do this bullshit stuff i don't want to do because yeah. i don't like writing and i don't like reading i know and i do all of it yeah but every time i do it it makes my day so much better yeah. i don't think i've ever been this happy by myself in my whole life that's great yeah yeah because you're in the pursuit of of honesty and a more and living a life with integrity rather than just uh you know just living just living yeah 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 what were you going to do, Michael? Well, I don't think we have time to do the game now. I was going to oh. bring up a news story, but did we ever oh. see the aliens? Did we ever see any of the aliens? Yeah, I've d I've seen them. You don't watch TikTok as much as I do, but they're out no, there. No, I think you're watching... Three nine-foot shadow people. Okay, but you haven't cool seen the jellyfish. On. You haven't seen the jellyfish oh, yeah. that only shows up on heat sensor camera the video camera didn't get it are they in water though the, or no, they... no 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 it just kind of looks like a jellyfish floating 
What? So kind of like a weird like matrix drone, but the thing is on the um on the the heat sensor, it's totally military that picked it up. It goes in and out, okay. which is to say its temperature is going hot, cold, hot, cold okay. as it's floating or along. Okay. What? Okay. Yeah. Where and this is, is not a blurry video? You know, it's these aren't the Miami it's heat, sneaker aliens. It's heat right. vision. They are sneaker aliens. I'm interested in seeing your your sneaker aliens. I couldn't find any actual images of the shadow. You know why though? Why? Because the government See this thing. has taken them down. Because they don't want to know they don't want us to know about shadow yeah, people. Yeah, okay. So okay. this is the jellyfish from Wait, that's Iraq. wild. Wait, that's a video game. That's so funny. That would be so funny if it was. <laughs> I don't know. This is what I thought you were talking about because this was on the front page of Reddit today. That's more believable than all the stuff Jason. It's just like something on the camera. It's just like a little fuzz on the camera. I know. It's not. It looks like bird poop that's just like stuck on the camera. Oh, no. He... <laughs> he just stuck up. It moved. Yeah. It moved. It moved across the camera. So it's not a smudge. So look, I am not. That's like one guy. I am not. With like a jetpack on. Qualified yeah. to. With an invisible suit. Yeah. I, if it was up to me, I would have fallen for all kinds like they of They already have stuff. that, I just realized. Yeah. The invisibility cloak? Yeah. That's so right. that's a jetpack guy with an invisible cloak. That's like the government, man. You think so? They're just working on new military military snipers. They might just Think about be. that. Yeah. You got a jetpack and you got an invisible cloak on it. You could just like hover over someone. Boom, you're dead. Yeah. The yeah. best place to play around with that technology probably would be in at Iraq. a military base. Yeah. 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 Of but, course it would. Of course it would be. Yeah. yeah. But this is not uh, Camp Pendleton. This is in Iraq. Yeah. So. Maybe not the totally ideal place, but where that stuff might be laying around for like a guy who just got yeah. super high to be like, I'm going to put on the cloak and the jetpack. Yeah. Yeah, they, good point. Yeah. They probably don't. I'm, I'm not, I just, that's just what I assumed that you were talking about because that no, was dude. in my feed today. Prepare to have your mind blown. It's not that mind blowing. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm going to prepare just in case. Okay, prepare. Yeah, just in case. Okay. Be safe. What I saw was so deeply underwhelming. I said, this is, what is, how, who cares? This is not. <laughs> Miami. Yeah. Three giant shadow people. That's not what I saw. You want to see in the mall? This video a, that's in a total the mall. Guy. Yeah, that. Okay, I didn't see this one. Where? Look at those guys. Where? Those three guys. That just look like regular guys. Dude, this is what like I saw. Uh, what even think. is that? See, like, what is this? That's cute. That's jank. I don't believe that. That's, that's what just, I saw. That's blurred out people. I don't care. What are all the cops doing? That's very suspicious. Also, why would all the cops be there for fireworks in a street fight? Because that's hundreds of police. Didn't all the people there say there was a fight that broke out before the aliens showed up? See, yeah, but it I wasn't. Mean, but why would a hundred cops show up for that? Because Miami. Who knows? Who knows what's going on? Man, God damn it! Show them in the mall. No, this is not good. You got to show in the mall. This is what I saw. And it's three like guys. They come out of a, of a of a of another dimension. And then they stand there for a second and people in the mall go, whoa! Or they're just like shopping at vans and they, like, what? And then they start walking out of the mall and people are flooding out because yeah. three 10-foot shadow people with cool hats on are walking them out. They have cool hats. This kind yeah. of reminds me of the guy that asked you for toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you what saying if, that wasn't real? Because that was real. What if, I mean... Who asks for toilet paper by just sticking their hand underneath? If you really, really needed it that stop. bad, you go, hey, bro, can you pass a roll yeah. over here? Like, yeah. Come on. And you don't go like that. No! And his hand went past the toilet paper. He yeah. could have got it himself. What if he was blind? That would be wild. What if he was blind? He walked. I I went to chase him, and he walked <laughs> out of the toilet by himself with no stick. With no stick. So he had eyes. Yeah, blind people can be gay. It's true. Grow up. I don't believe it. <laughs> Show me I'm one to think blind like gay person. Trying up by a blind guy ever. Show me one blind gay. Hey, DM me. Oh no, don't. <laughs> they can't. They're blind. <laughs> yeah, you can use Braille on Instagram. Can you? I didn't make it up. No, you know. absolutely can't. No, see, gullible. No, I've got a blind friend. He Instagrams me all the time. So, yeah, you can. He's not gay. But he well, Instagrams see, me all the got, time. Then I don't. One time I gave him a, a mo. No, I sent him a photo and he was like, I'm blind, you dumbass. And I was like, oh, sorry. And he's like, haha, I'm joking. My wife saw it and told me what it is. Okay. Yeah. No, okay. But he did make me he feel bad for a, a photo. That I sent. So we have no three feet portal people coming out of ten feet. The what? <laughs> I'm sorry, three ten feet people coming out of the food court. No, Nothing? three feet. You guys, 
See, they've already taken it down because oh, I man. watch it on Instagram several times. The truth. And everybody that says the on truth. Instagram, get this video out there because they're probably <sighs> the government's going to take it down. And then look what happens. It's not there. What if it's all a distraction from Epstein's list? Ever think of that? Oh. Uh-oh, all of a sudden. But I'm not distracted. I'm still like Bill Clinton was on there and Donald Trump's hanging out. And Chris Tucker's not looking too good. I don't even it's get how not. that's right? I don't even get how that's news. Even if Bill Clinton and Donald Trump like denied that they had sex with people at that island, we all knew that that was a lie. The question is who engaged in illegal behavior. David Copperfield. Maybe, For sure, maybe Copperfield. He's the creepiest, lamest guy ever. Yeah. This show sucks balls so hard. Yeah. Spaceship comes out on a crane. You can see the crane. Yeah. It sucks. God, you sucks. You saying yeah. Copperfield copped a feel? Nice. There it is. Is it? There. What's <laughs> it? That was uh, would, deceased... President George H.W. Bush's favorite joke, see, to let you know how lame your dad humor is. Is that actually, is that, <laughs> was that really? Yes, he took a photo with uh, a woman, and he was in a wheelchair, and and, and she, he was uh, alleged to have said something Come on, like, Ken, you can do it. he grabbed her butt and said, uh, they call me David Copperfeel. No, that's I, real. <laughs> look it up. It's as real as the fucking food court, aliens. I hate that so much. I hate it so much. That man much. was the leader of the free world and the head of the CIA before that. I hate the... it so much. And that's true. I bet you and... if I was Bobby Lee, you could get those three shadow people. Yeah. <laughs> before we wrap here, uh, have you Damn seen it. the video of... We'll keep, you keep looking on Patreon. Hey, live. the truth is out there. <laughs> The truth is out there, and we'll have 20 minutes to regroup, and then we will have it. So by the time you have, uh, you're have you watching this, come find us at patreon.com slash and we will no doubt be dissecting that alien video Thank you, Mark. on the uh, episode we're doing there subsequent to this. <laughs> Patreon exclusive in the here and now. Did you see the totally obnoxious better. southern douche at the New Year's party who got stuck in a vase? No. Yes, I did. No, what? But he no. sucks so I, bad. I hate him so I bad. Would, I would have not cracked it. No. I would have said, well, what, stay what in He there. should be living in there forever. Yeah, I would have put dirt be in there him. and some water and said, you are now a pot plant. Yes. Die. Play the video. Wait, I want to see. What do you mean he got stuck so in a vase? So this video sucks because the only version I could find that oh, didn't have a bunch of... real. Of, uh, no, 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 well, no, no. The video is fine. It's just for we'll some weird see. reason it got posted out of order. Uh -huh. So it's this guy and it's a bunch of seems like rich, seems like douche, definitely Southern, seems like youngish kind of people. Frat turd. Yeah, that are, and he's okay. like, I'm going to put myself in the vase. And they're like, no, Connor, don't do it. And he's like, I'm going to do it because burr, burr. Yeah. And then he goes in there and he can't get out, yeah. which and is awesome. And then he's like, I awesome. can't get out, which is why, And he starts crying and he gets yeah. angry at everybody. He's like, you could see this guy has like a raging brat bitch yes. waiting behind his eyes at all seconds if you take away yeah. his ice cream yeah. cone. Yeah. Or, if nobody was there, he would have been hysterical. Yeah. Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah, yeah, if yeah. anybody touches the car, his dad bought him. He's got yep. this thing ready to go. Can you right? imagine? So well. If I was dating that guy and he did that, I'd have the biggest ick. I mean, you'd have to break up with him immediately. You'd have to break up with him. If you were dating that guy, I would not like you. Miles, there's a YouTube link <laughs> ab like, above that, which is really just the video. With you. Yeah, but how would you know until he got into the vase? Nah, he you didn't can get into a vase. You can tell. Dude, yeah. this guy, he's got the he sucks. Got the he's the problem with everybody. You can't be yeah, like <laughs> with you, everybody. The, the world. You can't be facist, yeah. you know, because like sometimes people no, you like can. aren't. But but you can't. Yeah, but every now and then, sucky faces are nice people. He's got he's got like he's got like mean person sucky yeah. pig nose. He's got, yeah. yeah, he's a piglet head. He sucks. Yeah. Yeah, and he's got a comb over and he's not bald. You know who has a very unlikable face is Don Jr. He's got yeah. one of the faces. All yeah. of them do. They've all got it. They've all got sucky. Did yeah, you click on the YouTube it's, link? It's all of animals. Dude, exactly where you got it from. Obnoxious New no, Year's dude. When do you dude, can't find the shadow people? Obnoxious New Year's dude gets stuck in vase. Go to that. Scroll down to where it says obnoxious New Year's dude gets. And then you see where it says YouTube. Click on it. <laughs> no, not that one. Uh. The one that says YouTube is the YouTube video. Jesus. Oh, look at that. I can't live like this. <laughs> okay, so that's. He's already in there. But this is the best part, I guess. You can't see it. There is audio. Oh, he's down. Oh, it's that. Oh, that's so you got funny. The but it was up right before where he was like really complaining. Yeah. So like I said, this video for some weird reason got edited to where it's stuck and then getting stuck. You got it, Connor. Like he's giving birth. Look at this frat piglet. Oh my God. How do you not be able to get out of that? That's stupid. She's like, it's his right. knees. Yeah. His knees are folded up now. Look, look at this guy. This is him. Stop. Look at that haircut. Are you serious, dude? Who? 
This is so funny. Oh, you suck so I would bad. just keep pushing him over. I know, right? Imagine? Yeah. I know. I'd pee on him. Yeah. Because he can't get out. Yeah. I'd be like, you are yeah. in my Look new golden shower video. He's horrible. Right? This kid's horrible. This is Look, the... everybody, it's a piglet in the rain. Yeah. That's what I'd say. And you know how, like, on his head. the Greek gods used to, like, shoot lightning bolts? I want God to, like, shoot a drop kick from space. Yeah. yeah. To yeah. take him out. Everybody should be punching him in the face right now. Yeah, they should be taking they should, turn, the right? they should let that neighborhood line up. Spit in his face, yeah. slap his face. Put your ball sack in his eyes. He is a like... scumbag. I'm stuck. A bag of That's scum. That's exactly the kind of guy, though, you'd want to see getting stuck in a vase. If anyone's happen... going to do it, let it be him. Couldn't happen to a nicer guy than Connor, so they ultimately needed to get like a, a sledgehammer and crack it open to yeah. get him out. But they I did hope it they broke really his knees when they did it. They did it in a really pathetic way, like tappity tap tap because yeah. they didn't want to hurt him. It's like, dude, if you're in Australia and you get stuck in a vase, we're just going to smash it. Yeah. You know? yeah, you're going to smash it. I mean, like, if you don't smash yourself out of there, you're not my friend anymore. Yeah. But you wouldn't have been my friend anyway, you frat piglet. Wouldn't have been my friend. No way. Yeah, I don't hang associate with people that with are dorks. educated. That guy's yeah. a huge dork. Thanks for being on the show. Thanks for having me. Yeah. What's your show called again if people want to check it out? Um, you can find me on Instagram at G A B B Y L A M B Y Gabby Lammy. I have a podcast called Tea Time with Gabby Lamb and Harper Rose Drummond. There you go, everybody. Check her out. And if you want to stay for Patreon, you should. All right, don't die.